Greetings, holiday residents. I think it would be an understatement to say that 2020 has been a challenging year. I know at City Hall, we're all looking forward to new beginnings, but as we turn the page to a new chapter, a new and exciting chapter for our city, I think it's incumbent on all of us to do all we can to ensure a bright future. As a young city, Holiday has come a long way since its incorporation just over 20 years ago. And as one of the oldest communities in the Salt Lake Valley, some of the things that make our city work, like its roads, its storm drains, and its other infrastructure, is aged and in disrepair. These needs are urgent, and we must decide how to move forward strategically to make sure that the quality of life and the level of services in our community can continue. That's why the Holiday City Council asked eight esteemed residents of the city, known as the Holiday at 20 Citizen Advisory Group, to study the budget, the long and short-term improvement needs of the city, and recommend how to fund those needs on a fiscally sound basis. The Citizen Advisory Group worked for more than a year to try to find solutions to Holiday's funding problems. After an in-depth study of the issues and the potential funding mechanisms, we made our recommendations to the City Council in May of 2020. In order to fund Holiday's unmet project needs, the committee unanimously recommended three things. First, the adoption of a new stormwater utility fee. Second, a prudent property tax increase. And third, the pursuit of bonding for larger projects. It was the considered judgment of the Citizen Advisory Group that all three approaches will be required to meet our city's long-term needs. Over the next few months during our annual budget setting process, the City Council will consider the group's recommendation. We would like to hear from you as we weigh this critical decision together. As mayor, I encourage you and all property owners to learn all they can about the future challenges facing our city. As we recover from the impacts of COVID-19, we are also tackling one of Holiday's most difficult challenges. How to pay for millions of dollars of unfunded repairs to our streets, storm drains, and other facilities. The list of unfunded projects is urgent, long, and pricey. $75 million and growing. With a public works budget of just $2 million a year for snow plowing, minor street repairs, and other infrastructure needs, you can see that we have to make some important decisions in the next few months. Frugal budgeting has kept Holiday's taxes and fees low. In fact, despite growing costs and two decades of inflation, property taxes for city services have never been raised. You might also be surprised to learn that Holiday receives only about 10% of the total property taxes you pay. And city tax revenues don't automatically rise as property values grow. Without adequate funding for maintenance, projects and capital improvement programs, Holiday will continue to face unexpected costly repairs and a notable decline in the condition of the city's already struggling infrastructure. Just recently, we had a 50-year-old storm drain collapse, causing traffic headaches and diverting city resources to an expensive unplanned repair. Our job is to avoid this from happening again. Holiday's future depends on all of us. Learn more about our project needs, our budget challenges, and how we can all work together. As Holiday considers how to pay for repairing and rebuilding our fading roads and other critical infrastructure, it is important to consider some key budget challenges and what the city has already done to mitigate costs. One of the key fiscal strategies for our city is keeping our costs down on the core delivery of services. Holiday has always had a limited number of employees on its payroll and has opted instead to participate in regional models for police, fire, and public work services. We also contract for professional positions such as our city attorney and cost share employees. Contracted services are currently the best value, but it's important to note that nearly 50% of the city's total revenue is dedicated to police and fire and the cost of these contracted services is increasing. It's clear that current revenues aren't enough to pay for both needed improvements and ensuring that the city continues to serve its residents well and meet ongoing obligations. Because Holiday has received $24 million in grant funding over the past decade, we have been able to construct a number of projects. Nearly 85% of the costs of City Hall Park and Knutson Park was funded through these grants. Without this funding source, the residents wouldn't be able to enjoy these incredible amenities. 
Another great example of Holiday's ability to find ways to fund projects is seen in the upcoming reconstruction of 39th South. Holiday and Mill Creek partnered together to secure $8.7 million in grants, with little to no cash outlay required from the cities. The challenge in this approach is that many of Holiday's needs, like repairing neighborhood roads, are simply not eligible for grant funding. The decision we face in the coming months is critical. We invite all of you to learn more about the budget challenges we face and the solutions that are available to us. Holiday's future depends on all of us. The city has limited funding sources to address the growing list of unmet and unfunded needs in our city. Essentially, we have three tools at our disposal. The first is a stormwater fee based on the hard surface area on a parcel of land. The Holiday City Council completed a public process in fall 2020 to consider this new fee and ultimately approve it. The revenue generated by the stormwater fee is limited to improving and maintaining our storm drain system. The second tool the City Council is considering is raising property taxes, which are levied on all properties in the city except tax-exempt parcels like churches or schools. Property tax revenue can be used to fund any city service. It is crucial that the City Council, before making any decision on raising taxes, receive significant public input and engagement. Holiday City has not raised property taxes in over 20 years since its original incorporation. A final tool that the City Council may consider is bonding or borrowing funds for a set period of time to fund specific projects. The Citizen Advisory Group worked together for over a year. The group came to the conclusion that there were some very serious infrastructure needs. Also, that there was not enough current revenue to cover these and the probability that we probably would need more than one source of revenue. Ultimately, based on the immediate five-year planning horizon, we felt that the combination of a stormwater utility fee and a property tax increase combined with strategic bonding provided the best balance between resident preferences. And we decided that uh, we needed to incorporate all three of those recommendations uh, to the city council and to the mayor. The City Council understands that the decision we face in the coming months is critical. We look forward to hearing from Holiday residents and understanding your priorities and your preferences. Learn more about our capital improvement needs, budget challenges, and how we can work together to find a solution that works for Holiday. The property taxes you pay go to a variety of entities, including Granite School District, the City of Holiday, Salt Lake County, and Special Service Districts. Holiday only receives a fraction of the property taxes you pay. As of the year 2020, Holiday has never increased its property tax rate. Your property taxes may change each year, even though the City of Holiday does not raise its tax rate because all taxing entities can adjust their property tax rates annually. An entity can change its tax rate two ways. One, by holding a public vote on a bond issue, or two, increasing its budget and going through truth in taxation. The state of Utah enacted truth in taxation in 1985 to provide more process transparency and an incremental pace of increasing property taxes. Unfortunately, the reality is that truth in taxation created a challenging political process, and many cities, including Holiday, did not raise their taxes for several decades as a result. When an entity, like a city, county, or school district decides to increase their budget and go through truth in taxation, they must inform taxpayers of the proposed increases, hold a public hearing, and vote on them publicly. The public hearing's information is indicated not only on your annual tax notice, but also publicized per specific noticing requirements outlined in Utah State Code. Truth in taxation means that the total amount of property tax revenue collected by the City of Holiday does not grow with property values nor inflation. In other words, the City receives a flat dollar amount annually that does not go up or down as a result of changes in property values or inflation. 
For example, if your property value goes up by 10%, thus increasing its taxable value, the city's tax rate will be reduced to keep the total amount of property tax the city receives consistent year over year. The only time the city receives an increase in property taxes without formally raising its tax rate is when new properties are added to the city. The taxable value of your home is determined by the Salt Lake County Assessor, not the city. In the state of Utah, homeowners only pay taxes on 55% of the assessed value of their home due to the 45% exemption on primary residential properties. So, if the county assessor determines that the value of a home is worth $500,000 and that the home is the primary residence for someone, the owner would pay taxes on that property as if it were worth $275,000. 55% of the full value. Commercial properties and second homes are assessed taxes on 100% of the value. Sometimes your property taxes will increase, but your neighbor's property taxes will not because properties are assessed in relation to each other. For example, your home may have appreciated by 20% while your neighbor's house may have only appreciated by 10%. In this situation, to keep the amount going to each taxing entity the same, property taxes would be reduced by 15%, leaving your home 5% above average and increasing your property tax rate. You can learn more about how the Salt Lake County Assessor determines taxable value and get details on tax relief programs at slco.org. To see the City of Holiday's budget details and historic city tax rate, visit cityofholiday.com.